What's going on, YouTube? Um, this is just another one of those episodes about the aircraft that could be added next prior to the Generation 4's coming. Uh, this is going to be, obviously, the Soviet tree, so we're going to make a, take a look at that. The first aircraft on here is the Su-17 M4. It's, of course, just a more modern version of the Su-17 M2 that we already have. It's more or less of the Su-22 that we have. Uh, that's basically what it was called. It was the Su-22. Uh, that was just the name of it for the export versions. It'd be a good 11.3, carrying six R60Ms, and, of course, the two beautiful NR-30 cannons that we are all used to by now. Uh, it'll obviously be ranked 7 after the Su-22 M2. Other than that, carries right about the same ground ordnance, just more of a better fuselage and just a different engine, more upgraded. And, of course, the uh, air-to-air loadouts are a bit different. The next aircraft is the Su-24M. This is probably one of my favorite Russian aircraft. I just love the look of it. it reminds me of like a, a Russian F-111 style aircraft. And, and very rightly so, they were similar in role, not the exact same. The F-111 was more of a fighter bomber, but Su-24 make a good either 11.3 or 11.7. I'm more leaning towards the 11.3 because it's missile loadouts only consist of four R60Ms. Now, like always, I'm not going to go through the ground or uh, ground ordnance, so you can look that up on your own. I'm just saying just how it would work out in an air or B scenario. So, of course, you got a new gun, the GSH 6-23M, which is basically a six-barreled 23-millimeter uh, Gatling gun. So that would be nice. And I really didn't know where to put it, so I just kind of threw it after either the Su-17 M4, which is the aircraft that we already looked at prior to this, and the MiG-27K, because I don't really know where, I, I don't like know too much about this aircraft. I don't, I don't go through like a college degree to know what everything about this aircraft. I'm just saying based on what I saw from its art armaments and it just seems like it would make a good 11.3 or 11.7 aircraft after either one of those aircraft. And the next one, which is also the last one is the MiG-23 ML for Cuba. Uh, this would be obviously a rank seven premium. As you know, I am doing rank seven premiums as generation three and below. Uh, so it would work out there. Be a good 11.0 aircraft. Uh, only carries R60, so it'll be worse than the current MiG-23s we have in the game, which is, I mean, and I don't want, I personally don't want a premium that's going to be better than everything in the tech tree because it kind of defeats the purpose of me spending all those countless hours to get up there and get it, so... I would be completely fine with that. And it carries, of course, the R-23s. Um, the MiG-23, when it came into service with Cuba, uh, it very, like the ML version, was really late to the party when it came to missiles. Oh, or should I say it was more too early to get more modern missiles for the era. Didn't get the R-24s. It barely got the R uh, R-23s, which... This is why I still have them in the armament, because it, it used them, just didn't use them that much before they were taken out of service. And of course, you got the GSH-23L. So the next one is going to be on Britain. Uh, that'll be tomorrow's video. Um, of course, only three aircraft for Russia. I'll keep adding more as we go. I'll do separate videos on their own. But I'm most likely going to try and get through the British uh, tech tree now and get through all the current tech trees and then just keep going from there and then eventually i'll probably get to like the rank five aircraft because i'm only talking about six and sevens right now so that's right about it so i guess i'll see you on the next one